Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. In today's video, we are going to show you how to create forms using MS Word. So you can of course create your form like your typical, just put your name, and then maybe put a column there, put an underline, maybe put like a department, but this form is not really that ideal because if, for example, if I'm going to fill this out, I have to put my cursor here and I put my name and you will notice how the, the action of typing the name will push the underline. And eventually, if you have a long name or a long entry in a certain uh, field, it will push your form into the next line. So we don't really want that. So you'd rather use controls in order to be able to have some sort of structure in your form. So let's do that. So in order for you to add fields or form controls to your MS Word document, you need to have the developer tab. And by default, the developer tab is actually not uh, present in your MS Word. So you have to pull it up. You have to go to file and then under file, you have to go to options and then under file options look for customize ribbon and then once you are in the customize ribbon you should see two groups of uh, buttons or settings and the one that you need is the developer it has to be checked it's on the right side of this window so by default it's not checked so you have to check it and click OK. That should pull up the Developer tab. The Developer tab is where the form controls are located. And this is where we are going to um, get our fields. So let's start. So let's say that we want to put, of course, a, a label for sure, a title. So let's say I'm going to make a leave request form and then next is I want to put sort of like a structure so that the the form or the field controls are aligned so I can use a table for that so insert and then I can insert like a two by two table here and then maybe drag the borders so that I have a smaller uh, field here for the label which is name I'm going to put a space so that it's not as tight you know as this line here and then for this one I'm going to put the part now you can just leave it like this just you know have the user type something in this uh, cell but you can also use controls so that you'd have some sort of capability to choose or create drop down create check boxes and if ever you're going to import your data to another program then that program can easily pick up which parts are supposedly importable okay to that program so let's go to developer and let's say for the name i will put a rich text uh, content control which should allow the user to enter values in this clickable field here so now i can type it here and my form is sort of like starting to become interactive however take note that if i start backspacing out let's say i decided to remove it change it if i backspace and i have no more letter remaining i will actually remove the control so I have to have some settings that will prevent the user from deleting that form control. So I'll bring back one of them. And then I have to go to the properties of that form control. And then in the properties of that form control, we need to be able to check this one. The one that says content control cannot be deleted so that click ok so that if i type something here and i backspace all the way to the left 
it will not disappear. So I'm actually clicking backspace now and it's not disappearing in my form. So we'll also do another one here for the department. And for the department, I can create a combo box for that. So I will click combo box control, this one. And now I have this drop down so that the user can just select from this drop down. Now I have to add items in this form control. So I have to go to properties. So you have to realize that most of the time, if you're going to use or use Word to create forms, you'll be going to this button a lot, to the properties button. And then let's tag it as something that cannot be deleted as well. And then the list here will allow us to add items into our drop down. So let's click add. And let's say that for the first one, say it's going to be operations. Click OK. Another one, let's say human resources. Click OK. Then another one, administration. And you could add as many options as you want in your form. Take note that by default, MS Word will put a choose an item option here, which will be the first option in the drop down. So that if I choose something here and I decide to change my mind and leave it blank, I can just click choose an item and it will revert back to blank. Take note, however, that you can also remove that. If, for example, you want to remove the choose an item, just go to properties, click that item or that option, and then just click remove. Click OK. But if you do something like that, the consequence will be if I choose something here and I decide to change my mind, I don't have any options to like choose an item. If I remove this, like using backspace, well, that's the only option that you have. But just in case you want to have like a different message, like choose your department, for example. So we can add that as an item. So add, and then so in that instead of the default choose an item, we'll say choose your department. And then in order for that to become a, a more of a, like a label, you have to remove its value. Because if an item has a value, it means that that item is technically like a valid choice. It's something that you can really choose. On the other hand, if there's no value, then it will just show up as a gray field here. Just have to move it up. Click OK. So that if I choose operations, for example, and then I decide to go choose your department, then it just becomes like that. Choose an item. So if you want to change, okay, what uh, the message here will show up, then you can do it like that. Just put no value. Because anytime that you choose something that has a value, it will become a choice and it will turn black. Okay. Now, let's say that we want to have an indicator like what kind of leave is going to be filed. So type of leave. And then for this one, I want a checkbox. So I'm going to insert a table again. And I will drag the border over here. And then I will insert under developer tab, this checkbox. So checkbox checkbox and another checkbox. So this kind of form control will allow you to click, will allow the user to click okay, that option. And then from here, I can type like what kind of leave, so let's say vacation leave, sick leave for this one. And then let's say we have a, a medical leave. Okay, now let's say that for this uh, section of the form, I want to make the table sort of like disappear. I don't like it looking like that. 
So, well, you cannot really delete the table itself because the table is the one giving the structure to your form. So what you can do is you can change the style okay, of the border okay, by changing its color. So what you need to do is click this, change the pen color to white, and then start clicking the borders so that they sort of like turn into white and it makes them look as if they are not there even if well they are okay and now we have them sort of like disappear so they're there they're putting structure into our uh, form but they're not uh, visible okay and let's say that we want to add another section in our form. Let's say details. And then this time we're going to insert another table. Okay. So insert. And then uh, let's say we want a two by two table. And then let's say we want here the start date and the end date. Then let's adjust the cell to make it look smaller like this. And then for this one, since this is more related to dates, there's a specific control that we can use for dates. So we go to developer. And then under developer, we should see their date picker content control. It looks like a calendar icon. So you can click that. And so, and so as for the end date, and this for, uh, form control will allow you to create or have a calendar that the user can select or can check so that he or she doesn't have to type the date and you always get the right format for the date. And that's actually it. Those are the most common um, elements in the form. So the next part would be to start putting your design, like maybe some layout, put some your company logo, put some color, put some more instructions in filling out the form. But in essence, you now have this form that you can use in order to make it more interactive. So save and that's it. I hope you like this video. I hope you learned something new. And in case you have any questions, feel free to use the comment section to ask a question and I'll do my best to answer you on time. And for now, I hope you also click the like and subscribe button. It really helps the page so that you can be alerted okay, if ever we upload new videos. And that's it for this video. Thank you, everyone. Keep safe and see you in the next video.